Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to get the Scimitar of the Seven and the Daybreaker Shield here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So before we start the actual quest, we're going to grab the shield and the Scimitar. And to grab those, you want to head to the exact location here on your map. Once you make it to this little cliff area, you can jump off and land on the rock tower here in the front. And this is where you're going to find the Gerudo Shield. So make sure you have enough room in your inventory. Pick that up and we're going to jump over here to the right side go under the archway here and go all the way to the back so you can kind of just glide your way across when you get back here we're going to go in this little gap where the rocks are you guys can see right in front of us we're going to have a couple enemies back here i believe there's three um and one of them is going to be holding the scimitar so you can come back here take these guys out and once you take them out loot their stuff and you will find the scimitar on the ground so to start this quest, we're going to head over to Gerudo Town on the southwestern part of the map. We'll show you the exact location with the stamp here that you want to be in. And when you get here, you'll notice there's a shop that's got watermelons. We're going to go inside of the shop right next to that. And we're going to speak uh, with a woman named Kara, and she's going to be the one to start the quest. So we'll go through a little bit of dialogue with her. The missing owner will start and you'll have to go through a little bit more dialogue and you'll be able to go on with the quest. Now, once the quest is started, you're again going to be on the southwestern portion of the map. We're going to go over to the Taruma Dunes and out here in the dunes, you're going to have a monster that's kind of roaming around under the sand. You guys can see him there on the screen. Uh, and once you jump down into the sand, you're going to get his attention to where he just comes after you. What you can do is jump down and use time bombs. Now, I kind of fa failed miserably here. But if you get this right, he'll, he'll run right into the time bombs. You can deal a bunch of damage and then he'll just flop out of the sand and lay there and make it super easy to just run up and start taking him out with a weapon. Um, but once you take out the Malduga guy here, uh, you're going to be able to speak with the shop owner. It'll just cue an instant cut scene. Uh, I believe her name is Isha and she's hanging out on a rock in the middle of the desert here. And uh, you have a little bit of dialogue with her. And once she finishes up, you can then return to the shop. So we'll work our way back over to Gerudo Town. Again, we'll show you the exact location. And we're going to go to the shop. And this time, the, the two are going to be standing outside. And all we need to do is start a dialogue with the both of them. You'll be rewarded with a diamond. You'll have a little bit more dialogue. And once you complete the dialogue, the missing owner will be complete. And once you finish the dialogue, you can actually start dialogue with Isha once again. And on this second go around with the dialogue, it will start the quest to get the scimitar as well as the shield. Now there's four items that you're gonna need to be able to create the scimitar and shield, two being the shield and scimitar themselves. Uh, you also need four diamonds, so make sure you get some diamonds and you're gonna need 10 flint, which is super easy to find, uh, but 10 flint, four diamonds, and then obviously the scimitar and the shield. And once you're finished with the dialogue and give her the item, she will then replace your shield and scimitar with the new ones, which is pretty cool. So. Uh, this is how to get them. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys in the next video.